Okay, students. So I hope, as you all know, that you are here for a maths demo session, right? Yeah, ma'am. So can anyone quickly tell me what's maths all about? Yeah. What is maths all about? Yes, mm -hmm. Dhanashree. We have multiplication. Multiplications, okay. But what do you multiply? Uh, uh, the tables. You multiply tables. And okay. I am division. Okay. Division. Okay, so maths is all about uh, multiplication and division. What's the what's the most important mm -hmm. element? What is math? What makes mathematics? What makes mathematics? Mathematics. Hmm? Can you tell me what makes mathematics? Something without which you cannot do mathematics. What is it? Manshi, can you tell me? Numbers. Yeah, very good. So, everyone, maths is all about numbers. Whenever you talk about maths, the first thing that comes in your mind is numbers. Yes or no? Yeah, ma'am. Yes. Without, without numbers, can you do mathematics? Without numbers, you cannot no. multiply, you cannot divide, you cannot add, subtract, nothing. You need numbers. Okay? If you don't have numbers, what will you multiply? So today we are going to learn, not learn, actually, my, uh, you might be, you know already about numbers. I hope everyone knows about numbers. What are numbers, right? Numbers. Still, something that you know and something might be which you don't know, okay? So number sense. When you talk about, as I said, your maths is all about numbers. Number sense. See some numbers. Can you see some numbers? Were you dancing? Huh? See? Yes. Some are lazy. Yes. One is the first number, not so lazy, standing still. Right? Wow. Two is trying to be active. Three has started dancing. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, no. Until five, five is completely chilled out. Yes or no? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, can anyone tell me what is the last number? Like, one is the first, which is lazy. So, last number, which is exhausted and tired of dancing. Ten. You know, what's the last Ten. number? Ten. 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 Don't we have 11? Ten. Ten. Do we have 11? Do we have 11? We have 11, now. Yes. 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 So, what's the last number then? Zero. What's the last number? Zero. Zero? No. Okay. Ten. Let me tell you, there is nothing called last number. The mathematicians haven't introduced last number yet. Okay, all of you? The Infinity numbers. Huh? Infinity numbers. Infinity. We have infinite numbers. Very good. We have infinite numbers. There's nothing called last number. Okay. This is the sign to infinity. We have nothing called last number. Infinity. Infinite numbers. No one has introduced any number so far. Okay. So I hope everyone learned this. You did not know this. According to you, 10 was the last number, right? But 10 is not the last number. From now on, if anyone asks you, you can smartly say, no, there is nothing called last number. Will you say? Yeah. Yeah, ma'am. Yes. Good. Okay. Now, see, numbers are like special codes that helps us count. Yeah. So, basically, what does number help us do? Count, right? Suppose I place yes. few oranges. Numbers help me count, now. How many oranges? If I know the numbers, one, two, three, four, five, and so on in a sequence. Then only I can count how many oranges there. Yes or no? Suppose yes. I show you my hand. If I did not knew the numbers, would you be able, if you did not know the numbers, would you be able to count how many fingers in my hand? No, no. You can count because you know one, two, three, four, five. You know the digits, you know the numbers, right, all of you? Yeah, ma'am. Yes. yes. So they are like keys to unlock the secrets of quantity. Without these keys, you cannot unlock the 
log of quantity. What quantity of thing that you have? Okay. So basically, numbers answer one very simple question: How many? Okay. Whenever you have to ask how many, how many fingers in my hand, how many oranges at your at your plate, in your plate, or how many oh uh, you know chocolates did you have? So this how many? How many means quantity. Okay, this quantity is answered by obviously with the help of numbers. Okay. Okay. Next, digits. So these are the digits. So although students, let me tell you, there are infinite numbers. Okay, but still there are only ten digits that make up all the numbers. That is from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. For example, if you have to make 19, that's not separate digit. 19 is made of two digits, that is 1 and 9. Okay? If I have to write 100, 100 is made up of two digits, that is 1 and 0. Understood? Understood? Yeah, ma'am. Yeah. Yes. So, although we have infinite numbers, although we have infinite numbers, we have only 10 digits that make up these infinite numbers. Okay, students? Now, see, if you observe these digits carefully, what's the smallest digit? Zero. And what's the largest digit? Nine. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. See. If you have to make the largest number for forming a largest number, what do you do? For forming any largest number, what do you do? You keep on repeatedly, uh, you know, uh, using nine. For example, I'll show you if you have to make the largest digit, what I'm trying to say is, if you have to make largest digit of any quantity, largest one digit number, one nine. Largest two digit number, two nines. Three digit number, three nines. One digit, four nines. Okay? So what's the rule for writing largest numbers? What's the rule for writing largest numbers, Kalpesh? Nine. You use nine repeatedly. 9 is on repetition mode. And how you de decide how many 9s to write? Depending on the number of digits required. Okay, all of you? Okay, ma'am. Very good. Now, coming to the smallest number. Just like in case of largest number, you were using the largest digit that was 9. In case of smallest number, you use the smallest digit that is 1 and 0. Two small digits. Why you cannot use only 0? Because see, if you use for one digit zero, only zero. Two digit zero, two zeros. That's not two digit number or one digit number, okay? This is the reason you cannot use only zeros. You have to use one as well. Am I clear? Yeah, ma'am. Yes. yes. So over here, over there, nine was on repetition mode. But over here, what's the rule? You, you, you start with one and keep on adding zero to it. You start with one and keep on adding zero to it. For example, in one digit number, you use one. It's a one digit number. Two digit number, you use one. And for making it two digits, you need one more digit. Yes or no? Yeah, ma'am. Yes. yes. So you, use, you fill up this space with a zero. For three digit number, you use one. Zero, and to make it zero. three digit. Zero, zero. Two more digits are needed. So you fill this gap with two zeros. Okay. Four digit. One. And to make it four digit, you use three more digits. Understood? So do you understand the pattern, all of you? Tomanshi. <laughs> So, Manshi, Kalpesh, do you understand the pattern? Yes. Very good. Now, how to compare numbers? Now, since you already know about numbers, how to compare numbers? 
Is it possible to carry this weighing scale? Is it possible to carry this weighing scale? Huh? Huh? To weigh numbers, no. is it possible? Over here, I pl place two and over here, I place one. Is it possible? Yeah. No, no. So how can I compare numbers? I compare numbers using three symbols. Maths helps me compare numbers using three symbols. That is greater than sign, less than sign, and equal to sign. Okay. Now, do you know the story of the crocodile? Do you know the story of the crocodile? No. You don't know the story of the crocodile? Equal to crocodile mouth. Huh? So, Manchi, do you know? The story of the crocodile was always hungry. See, no. this is the mouth of the crocodile. This is the crocodile's mouth. He was always hungry. Wanting to eat huge, huge all the time. Okay? Okay, Kalpesh. Kalpesh, do you know the story? Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. So the crocodile is always hungry, no? Huge crocodile. Yes. It needs lots of food, right? Yeah. So it always opens Never its mouth. Less than. It's it always greater than. opens its yeah. It always opens its mouth towards the direction which has lots of food. Okay. So this is actually the story helps you remember the greater than and equal to sign. So why the crocodile? Suppose I have five here and three here. Five is a greater number, na? It will no, eat the crocodile that will eat nine. five. Yes or no? The crocodile will eat five, na? Yes. yes. Suppose I had ten and twenty over here. The crocodile will eat twenty, eaten. na? Yes. Yes. So I'll use less than sign. This one will be greater than. This was less than. This was less than. And over here, if I have 10 and 10, both are equal. So what would I do? I'll use the equal to sign. Okay? Don't eat anyone. Okay, all of you? Yes. yes. Okay. Hello, Nabunita. Have you just joined? Okay, now I'll tell you something. Why we need to compare the numbers? Why can't we avoid comparing numbers? Why is comparing numbers important? Because comparing numbers helps us decide the order. We can arrange the numbers in ascending or descending order by comparing numbers, okay? Numbers help us, numbers are compared because they help us arrange a given pair of numbers in ascending or descending order. Okay, so Dhanushree, what's ascending order? Mm -hmm. Dhanushree yeah. and uh, Yugar, what's ascending order? It's a big one. You're a little bit Oh, okay. From smallest to biggest. Smallest okay. to biggest. Yeah, okay, Kalpesh, very good. Dhanashree, you are on mute, Vita. Okay? Okay, so ascending order is small to big. For example, see, if I had these numbers, they are arranged in ascending order. 43 is smallest, then 55, then 78, then 98, then 101. Yes. Okay? 43, 55, 78, 98, and 101. They can be arranged in two orders, either ascending or descending. Ascending, descending. is small to big and descending is big to small. 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 Okay? Okay? How can you remember? How can you remember? Descending starts with D, right? Descending means coming down. So, D, D for down, D for descending. You can remember this way. Okay, all of you? Okay. Yes. So, descending means coming down. So, small, large to big. Uh, sorry, large to small. Okay. So, large to small. See, if you look over here in the example provided, 101 is the largest number. 101, 98, 
43. Large to big it has been arranged. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. It has no. been arranged in descending order, no? Yes. Yes. Very good. So now, students, some practice time. Can you answer one by one, huh? No one will shout, no one will jump, okay? Everyone will get a chance. Understood? So let's start with Somanshi. Somanshi, can you tell us what is the three-digit largest number with different digits? Three-digit largest number with different digits? Ma'am, option B. But they are same digits. Hmm. Different mm -hmm. digits means if there are three digits, now all three have to be different. Ma'am, option. Ma no, no, Dhanushri, wait, 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 all of you, please, no, no answering. Everyone will get a chance. See, if it would have, if the question just mentioned three largest, three digit largest number, it would have been option A, 999. Okay, but there is a twist. It says with different digits. So different digits means the largest digit is 9. The largest digit is 9. Then keep on arranging. The second largest digit 8. The third largest digit 7. So 9, 8, 7. Option C is on. Understood? Be good. So Manchi understood, Bida? Yes, yes ma'am. Very good. Next question, Dhanashri and Rugar. Which one of the following options show that they are arranged in descending order? Uh, D option. Option? Yeah, ma'am. D. Which one? D. D. D for Delhi? Correct. See? This is 12, then 5, it's okay. But after that, it's 7. It's not descending. This one is 24, then 25. This is also not descending. 10, 7, okay. But after 7, it says 9. So is this descending? No, no? No, no. no yes. After that, 29, then 18. 29, then 18, no? No, then no. Yes, so this is descending, then 13, then 12. This is proper descending order. Okay? Yeah, Next, Kalpesh. There are yes, rabbits holding some numbers, as you can see. So you need to yes. arrange the given set in increasing order. Increasing order means? Biggest. Hmm? Small to big. That means ascending order. Correct, Kalpesh? Yes. So what would be the ascending order for these numbers? What would come first? It is the correct... No, no, no. no. It is the correct answer. It is the correct answer. Very good. 508, then 16, then 31, then 99. Because... So A, the, yeah, Kalpesh? In D, both of the first answers are same, but... Next is 99. Correct. Very but good. There is 16 after in A. Yes. Very good. Yes. So A is the correct answer. Okay. Next question. Which of the following will replace the question mark? What symbol will you use here? Okay. I'll do this. Okay. 25 plus 32 gives me how much? Oh, the was no. 25 plus 32 is how much? 57. 5 plus 2 is 7. And 3 plus 2 is 5. This is 57. Correct? Yes or no? And this side is 52 minus 21. Obviously, this will be less than 57. Na? It is the correct answer. Obviously, that will be less than 57. Correct? 52... First number is 52. From that also, you're taking away 21. So is it possible to be more than 57? No. So this side is 57. So you use greater than sign. If it would be plus, okay. then it would be. Yes. So it is obviously, it is understood that it has to be small. So it is a greater than symbol for us. Okay, boys and girls. 
one more the last one arrange the following in ascending and descending order if you have to arrange in ascending order if you have to arrange in ascending order how will it be if you have to arrange in ascending order how will it be 25 right and for descending order it will just reverse yes or no 114 145 Okay, all of you? Yes. Yes. So, I hope everyone already knew ascending, descending, right? Yes or no? Yes. You knew ascending, yes. descending. But I think what and you did not know was the infinite numbers, right? Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah. Very good. Did you enjoy? Was it boring? Yeah.